Hello guys and welcome to my tutorial on the Magma Crucible. Now, as you can see here, I've got my inventory full of things. I won't however be putting them in the Magma Crucible. Maybe some of them, but no. You see, the thing is, the Magma Crucible uses a lot of energy and it's sort of slow. So, be careful of that. Uh, stone, cobblestone, obsidian and neverac makes lava. Despite it saying magma crucible, it doesn't actually, it makes lava, but it's more, it's more intended on smelting things to a liquid. You can, once again, I'll do that again, click on recipes to see all the different recipes and stuff you can do. There's quite a few of them, so this is the power input output. Now you can't actually scoop this out with buckets, that's not possible. You need to, as it's shown here, pipe it out to tanks. Now, it uses the uh, fluid ducts or the, what was it called? Build craft fluid pipes, but it does seem to prefer the fluid ducts because I think the fluid ducts just tran transfers the liquid faster. These have been running for the same amount of time and this one's five times as full, maybe six times as full as the build craft one. So, the main thing that you can, well, cook over with this is, these give you lava, these give you destabilize, de no, molten redstone, this one gives you molten ender, and these two give you energized glowstone. Energized glowstone is quite a fun thing to play with because it's like water but it goes up instead of down. So, definitely something to look into. Now, I do think that I don't, I think this machine, if you let it sort of like cruise magma crucible, if you do cruise things with a magma crucible, it can actually power itself, but I'm not completely sure of that, so don't quote me. Okay, so that's it for the magma crucible. As usual, no crafting recipes, because they do tend to change from time to time and from machines. So you saw it there, but I'm not going to say it. Okay, so... That's it. Thank you. Well, I just want to show you that this uses more than 10,000 redstone force a tick because it was actually running dry when, well, like running out of power when I only had a single cell attached to it. But that also depends on what you're cooking off. So I was making lava of it, so that's why it was slow. Okay. So, thank you very much for watching. I hope you found this tutorial informational but fun as well because. I'm more intense of having fun than knowing how everything works. Okay, go check out my other videos. Tell me what you think about them. Okay, see you in the next video.